Hello, this is Oliver Blair and I'm going to show you how to uh, import DWG files into Vectorworks 2014 uh, to get things like uh, this happening, like this isometric sort of exploded view of um, Tiara Hiko, and also to be able to print everything out to scale so you can sort of see the different spaces and how they how big they are relative to each other. So, right, the first thing you want to do is um, go into the spatial design server. So that's 12 file 6 spatial design. So I'm on Windows right now so it looks like this but if you're on Mac it'll look a bit different but all the same file structure should be here. Uh, so you have all your projects, all your paper folders and also I've added a new folder down here, Massey Campus Digital Models. So there we go, there's all this stuff. <coughs> so what you want to do is you want to copy whatever files you want to use onto your local computer. So I'll make a open up a folder on the, I'll put them on my desktop. So I'll just make a new folder on my desktop and call it um, test model folder. Cool. And now you can just copy stuff from here. I'll just copy with a black uh, block twelve level A all the way to level E copy that, paste it over, and also I want to see uh, block 10, level B, copy both of them, put them over, and also maybe block 11, where is block 11, here it is here, level A, level B, cool, so that's where all the studios are, so I might actually get rid of no, I'll leave them in. Cool. So now I've got my, my local files. So if these aren't here, um, or if you can't get into the spatial design folder, uh, I'll put them somewhere else. I'll probably put them on stream, actually. Like, yeah. Okay, so cool. We've got all our files here. So now we can open up Vectorworks. Here's a Vectorworks window I've opened up uh, earlier. So this is just me going new, uh, new um, f file. So it's it's coming in all all the default stuff. So it's got layer design layer one there, and uh, I don't think there's any sheets or anything. There's just a couple of uh, classes, so you can check all that check out all that sort of structure in uh, sheets and design layers and classes and things in the navigation uh, window. So I think that's up under window palettes navigation if it's hidden, and it's got all of that stuff. So classes. Design layers, sheet layers, viewports, saved views, references, so everything. Yeah, so and all I've got is just dimension and design layer one. Cool, so now let's import something. So up here under file, import, so what we want to do is import single DWG, just to try it out. Uh, on my desktop, the folder, yeah. So the first thing I'll do is I'll, I'll bring in block 11. Cool. And it comes up with this import options window. What I do is pretty much leave everything and just make sure that the model space here is on this scale. So make sure it's on one to one. Yeah, because sometimes I think if you import it when you're in a sheet or something like that, it might try to uh, make it to the fit to the page. So just make sure everything you bring in is at one to one. Okay, and we'll just wait for it to import. Great, there we go. Import succeeded. And it comes in like this. It comes in like a sheet view. <coughs> Pretty interesting. So this is the the, the building plan that um, the school uses, I guess. So right now we're in space. So if I go back up to the navigation layer, so design layers, it brought in another design layer. This is design layer one, which was there by default. It's brought this, this new block 11 level B one in. And then if I go to classes, whole bunch of new classes being imported. Some of them are even hidden in this view. And then if we go to Sheets, it's 
brought in four different sheets. So let's let's we're in space one right now. What, what about cleaning? Oh, all the colors change. It's all color coded. Pink studios, workshops. Dark green is a computer room, lecture theater, seminar tutorial apparently. So yeah, surfaces, cool. All the lights, everything in there, and basic, cool. So right now this is at scale. See this one to three hundred. I think if we go, yeah, it's actually a viewport as well. So you can sort of see here it's at a custom scale one to three hundred. So we don't want that, do we? Or maybe we do, maybe we don't. I don't know. One to three hundred seems like a bit of a funny scale. So let's go back to the design layer. Block 11. Oh, can't see anything. Maybe I'll zoom out a wee bit. Here we go. Now we're talking. There's some stuff happening here. And what I'll do is I'll make a new viewport and put that on a new sheet. So, let's go make a new viewport. So I'll make a rectangle. Draw a rectangle around the building. And then with that still selected, I'll go view, create viewport. Drawing the rectangle means that I can adjust that crop afterwards rather than just going create viewport. I can actually sort of hide things and show things and adjust that frame. Uh, cool. And I'll put it on, not on the layer, I'll make a new sheet layer. And I'll call this sheet number 001. And the sheet title I'll call um, drawings. Or I'll call it Coca Buildings. Like that. Um, Coca building plans, actually. Cool. Cool. And scale. I might. I might make it like one to one to one hundred. Let's try that. Cool. So it's brought it in. You can see it's real tiny there. Sometimes you're at a weird view. Don't forget about these these buttons up here with the magnifying glasses. So fit to page or uh, fit to objects. Cool. Fit to objects. Fit to page. So it seems to be a bit bigger than the page, but how big is this page? Is it an A3? Is it an A4? Is it like smaller? Is it like a little post-it note? Let's check it out. It should be up here under Document Settings, Document Setup, and then Drawing Area. And then what we want to do is actually tick this. And then we want to go one printer page. I'll change that to ISO A3. Cool. And I'll show page breaks. And I, I, what I want to do is make it like a couple of A3s wide and a couple of A3s sort of deep. So I'll go four across and, and four down. Let's say that. For example, we'll try that. Cool. So it's going to do a big sort of page like that. Is that the right way around we want, or do we want them as landscape maybe? I'll change that. Should be able to go up here, printer setup, and then change it to, yeah, landscape uh, A3. Cool. Scaling 100%. Sweet. Let's try that. And I want across, I want four, down, I want four. Cool. Here we go. Cool, that worked. So now when we print it out, or when we make a PDF, it's going to uh, print these out as A3s. So sweet, that should work perfect. So it's still maybe a bit too big though, right? I'll change into, was it select? Move it over. Yeah, it's a bit too big, so I might change it to 1 to 500. Oh, that's too small now. 1 to 200. So this is why they've, they've chosen to make it 1 to 300, because it, it's a bit too big for an A3 to have all that other stuff, all the colour coding and everything on it. But uh, it's a kind of a funny scale, so I'm not sure. But what about these colours? How do we turn those off? How are they sort of there? What are they? So I'll just double click on this viewport and go to design layer, yep, and then level B, yep, 
and I'll go OK, and then I'll just click on something. Here we go, and it should show up here. It's a polygon, and its class is space cleaning infill. Cool, so it's a, it's a class. So I'll exit out of that, and then click on the viewport again. And up down here, you can see that it says classes. I'll click on that. Now I can turn all this stuff on or off. <coughs> so what was it? Space cleaning infill. Hide that preview. Awesome. Now we've got this red stuff. So I'll leave you there. Because basically now all you need to do is import the other ones. So file, import, single. You can do multiples, but I just like doing it one by one because I know what's happening. And then I'll go level D, block 12. Wait for it to import. That was a bit quicker. And then this scale, yeah, one to one. Oh, it's important it now, that's why. <coughs> awesome. Imported. And it's got its own title block and everything again. As field, sweet. And that, see this one here is one to two hundred? So that's the problem. Like if you print this out and then you print that out block eleven at, at one to three hundred they're going to be completely different sizes. You're not going to be able to judge spatially which one's bigger or not, right? Well, you can sort of guess, but you're not going to know exactly. So what we want to do is now go to block 12, design layer. So see how all the sheets are up here? Design layers down here. So block 12, level D. Whoa, pink. Zoom out. And see, it's it's chucked it on it's all in the design space, yeah? So, all the other design layers are sort of visible as well. You can change that. You can go up to View, Layer Options, and then you can go Gray Others. So, sweet. Now we know what we're looking at. What's actually on the Block 12 design layer. Make another rectangle around the building. View, Create Viewport. And then I'll chuck it on 01 Cooker Building Plans. And then make sure that it's 1 to 200. OK. And I'll zoom to page. Awesome. So now we can really sort of see what's actually bigger or not. So these rooms are massive in block 11. So a huge room. It's like bigger than the whole presentation room and down here and everything combined. So, but it's all got all this other stuff on it. So just like how we turned the classes off for uh, block 11, we can turn the layers off as well. So we can say only show that one. But see how they're sort of grayed? So we can actually just change them to hidden. And then they've it's gotten rid of that. Cool. And classes as well, you can sort of mess around with that. And change all the colours and everything as well if you want. <coughs> so cool. I hope that sort of helps with your studio design uh, projects. Uh, cheers.